Hello everyone, in this video, uh, we'll be solving this problem that came in I-1998 and we'll use a different method from the conventional method which is to up assume the current through individual branches and then write the KVL equation for it. So for those who don't know the conventional method, I'll just explain it real quick. So so basically the problem is to is that the switch is closed at time t equal to zero and we have to find the charge as a function of time on the capacitor. Okay, so now as the switch is closed, a current starts flowing through the circuit and let's say current, the current in this branch is let's say capital I and the current in this branch is let's say small i so we can use kcl at this node a and we can say the current in this branch is capital i minus small i so now all we have to do is now we have two variables right capital i and small i so let's say and let's assume the charge on the capacitor is q so finally what we have to do is find i first of all in terms of r and v and then what we have to do is write i equals dq by dt and solve this integral to finally get the charge as a function of time and like it's quite a time taking process and it will require you to solve like two or three equations we'll use a much simpler method to solve this so now the switch is closed at time t so what we're going to do is, uh, so if I kind of redraw the circuit, so this is V and this res the resistance on this branch is R. What I'm trying to do is to replace this part of the circuit into an equivalent battery. So, so in this branch, I'll assume a battery of zero volt and the resistor here is capital R. And if I join these two, so we are going to be using a result here. So when, so when we have a parallel combination of cells like these, whose like EMFs are even and internal resistance are even, what we can do is we can re replace, replace this entire battery with a cell whose EMF let's say is E equivalent and whose resistor is R equivalent. So now, now the formulas for finding E equivalent and R equivalent are basically E equivalent divided by R equivalent is equal to E1 divided by is going to be E1 upon R1 plus E2 upon R2 and the R equivalent as R, as is simply going to be the formula we use for parallel resistors and that is R1 R2 upon R1 plus R2. So going back to our original circuit, so our E equivalent divided by R equivalent, now as R and R are in parallel, the R equivalent is simply going to be R by 2. And E1 is V divided by R plus E2 is 0 divided by R. And from here, we'll get the value of E equivalent as E divided by, and R equivalent as R and R are in parallel, it will be R by 2. So we can convert this whole part of the circuit as simply one battery whose EMF is E by 2 and whose internal resistance is R by 2. So now as you can see this R and this R by 2 are in series so we can club them and write the net resistance as simply 3 R by 2. So now this is a simple RC circuit which is getting charged and the charge as a function of time for a simple RC circuit is going to be Q0 which is the maximum charge on the capacitor 1 minus e to the power minus T by tau. Where tau is the time constant of the circuit, right? So the time constant of this circuit is simply the resistance of the circuit multiplied by the capacitance. So this, it would be 3RC by 2. So, and Q0, how do you find Q0? So Q0 is the charge after a very long time, right? So what happens after a very long time is the current through the circuit becomes zero because the capacitor is now fully charged, which means the potential drop across the capacitor would be E by 2, which means I can write the charge on the capacitor as C multiplied by E by 2. Uh, this would be C V by 2. So this battery is actually V by volt. Okay, so now just substituting it into this equation, we'll get the charge as a function of time. Okay, so this was problem number one. And the second question is that we have to find the current in AB at time T. So, and in order to find the current as a function of time, uh, differentiate the charge. Okay, so now we have current as a function of time as well. So now the second problem is that we have to find the current in branch AB. Whenever you're given circuits like this, make use of the equivalent battery concept, you get the answer pretty fast. Now for problem two, we have to find the current in branch AB. So for this, we have to go back to our original diagram. Now for this problem, there are no tricks, like you, we have to apply KVL. So this was our original circuit. Now we have the, we determine the current in this branch. So let's say the current here is going to be I. So the current here will be capital I minus small i. So we have, we need to find capital I minus small i basically. So now let's just take this particular loop and write the KVL equation. So, so the equation will be V minus IR minus capital I minus small i multiplied by R should be zero. So from here we'll get the value of capital I as V plus IR divided by 2R. So now as we have I as a function of time, we can just substitute it into this equation 
Okay, so now what we want is i minus small i, right? So that would be v minus i r divided by 2r. So now substituting the value of i into this equation. So this just comes out to be. So this will be the current in branch a b as a function of time. They ask the, uh, they also ask the limiting value of the current a b. After t tending to infinity, this term would tend to zero and the current would come out to be v divided by 2r. Okay, so e now and anyway after t tending to infinity this i becomes zero which means the current is only along in this loop. So here you can just apply Ohm's law once and you'll get the current to be v divided by r equivalent which is 2r. So hence it is, hence our result is confirmed. So that was it for this problem guys. Uh, I mean it took me some time to explain this but if you know the equivalent battery method you can solve it really fast if you're doing it by yourself. I hope this helped and if you have any doubts you can comment down below. And please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.